There are three types of sequence diagrams you can draw. In this video, I will show you the how to draw three types of sequence diagram using visual paradigm. And first diagram I would like to show is um, the system level sequence diagram. System level sequence diagram just show the interactions between the user and the systems. But it doesn't mean it's just limited to one system and one user. Say, for example, I have an, the user, this is, we say, this is the shop, uh, the buyer. And then you can say he just placed the order. He just buy the stuff in your shopping cart, your shopping site. In, this is your company site, so he, pre, he select the, the goods. And then he check out, the next step is he check out the goods. And what you do is you will check, you will use the credit card information. So what you do is you will talk to the credit card company. So you, you are not um, developing the credit card company system. So you treat the credit card company as a one big system. So you has charge credit card, something like that. And then the credit card company will also send the information to your account department, say for example, this is your account department. They will got the uh, payment immediately, say this is send the uh, payment received. So you see this showing the interactions between the systems and different user and different systems. And this example may be 100% truth in the real uh, business environment, but it illustrates the idea. And the second, let's name it, and this is a system level. And the second types of diagram we can draw is a subsystem level. So we name it subsystem level. The subsystem level will show the interactions of the end user and also the component. So we're doing the same things, the buyer. And he go to your shopping cart. He select the, uh, he select, this is your, your component in your shopping cart. So this is a goods list. So it lists all the goods. And he pick the goods. He select goods. And then what your system will do is it will also add to the cart. The cart is another component of your system. So it add to the cart. And then the cart maybe also you have, uh, sorry, you have another um, ideas that it interacts. So maybe after he check out, he check out, then you will interact with your another subsystem. It's the payment schedule. It's the payment payment module. So he will input the payment. He will and and charge amount something like that. So this is a different subsystem to interact. And this is not just a UI subsystem, but you have a subsystem called card in your system and you have a payment module. So the interactions is more detailed than the system level sequence diagram. But it's usually the subsystem level sequence diagram will just focus on one system. You will not talk about the bank, consortium, etc. And the third one is a very commonly used that is that we call a very detailed. This is the object level. Then each live line is representing one object of your system. You can say this is an order, and the order will have the calculations to order line. So it is an and get the quantity, and also get the get the discount to calculate the things. And in this level, the live line is representing to one system, one object. So you can even generate the class from the object. So you can right click and then you can create a class called order. And the lifeline, you can also create the order, order, order line. So after you create the class, you when you go to the repository, you see the order and order line is now in the repository. So you can right click and then to form the diagram, you can form the, say, just a hierarchical diagrams. Then it will generate the class diagram with the order and order line. So you can have the relationship between them. You can set the multiplicity, so one to many. 
something like that. So, and the magic is if you change, so this is a not order line, we change to sales order line in the class diagram. It will also update in the sequence diagram. So you see it's update, it's synchronized. Thank you for watching this video.